Hello, hello hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hello. Hi. Reveal. Boom. <laughs> Purple. How's it going? Hello, world. So today we're going to talk about perseverance. perseverance. Yes. And that's because yes. every single day we get letters, calls, everything. Frantic you, DMs. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, with people feeling overwhelmed by rejection. Yes. And the answer to rejection yes. is perseverance. And, and there are two, and she's been an agent for us. She has these books that she's tried to sell that are so beautiful and they don't go here. They got to finally, inevitably, if one tries and keeps trying, th th that's how things happen. There, are, But there are two kinds of perseverance. Yeah. One, smart perseverance. Two, Stupid perseverance. Stupid perseverance. They, so we're going to talk about smart perseverance. We want to read a letter that we got last week that we think is an absolutely brilliant example of perseverance. Here goes. Dear Ariel and David, my husband and I are about to become first time authors and we just had to write to tell you our story and to thank you for your book, which we have come to call the book Bible. Thank you very much. That's very nice. At the suggestion of our agent, we purchased your book about a year ago. We have read parts of it over and over as we began writing. Our story was inspired by a horrific event, how I helped save my husband from a life-threatening superbug infection with a hundred-year-old forgotten cure based on viruses found in sewage. Who wouldn't want to Who read that Who wouldn't want to publish book? that book? I didn't even get it right from the beginning. While I was nursing him back to health this year, I wrote our story as a memoir. Our agent responded to our email pitch in a flash. By the time we purchased your book, we realized we had already made several mistakes, which we were determined not to repeat. We then worked on our proposal for a few months and our agent sent it to publishers in January. We had several deep reads, but none wanted to buy it since it was quote unquote, an illness, oh, illness memoir, memoir. Oh, illness no. memoir. So we were crushed. Then we reread your chapters on rejection, rejection, including the section about enlisting the help of a co-writer. So when our agents suggested we help, we get help from a co-writer, we decided to go for it. By summer, we had a much stronger proposal. A few weeks ago, our agent sent it to a new round of editors. And lo and behold, we had five publishing houses who wanted interviews with us. Ack! We felt barely ready. So we reread your chapter on publishers' auctions and how book deals work. We also took your advice and joined Publishers Marketplace, which you should do too, Yeah. so we could read up on recent acquisitions by the editors who were interviewing us. Our book went to auction, auction this week with four of the five publishing houses who interviewed us. It was a whirlwind. We now have that pub what Publishers Marketplace calls, quote, a significant, significant deal, deal with Hachette, and we are still pinching ourselves. Thanks for publishing the book Bible. We hope to meet you one day. And we hope to meet you one day. <laughs> See, what typically happens is you get all excited, you write your thing, maybe you get an agent, maybe you don't get an agent, maybe you get close to getting an agent or not, and then you get rejected by three or four people, and typically the person who's getting rejected goes, ugh, ugh, I... It, I I was right. The universe does hate me. Yeah. I should just give quit, up. quit now. Just give up. Because what's the point? I can't deal with this rejection. It's too horrible. Well, that's the surest way not to ever get published. What we know will happen when you send a book out into the world. You are guaranteed yeah. rejection. That's the one thing you know that's going to come out of this yeah. process. The biggest writers in the world have been rejected. No one would publish Ulysses, James Joyce. Everybody rejected that book. 25 publishers apparently rejected uh, J.K. Rowling, uh, you know, the Harry Potter. Yeah. They kick themselves to this day. So how do we persevere in how the face of, of rejection? And one of the things that I love about this letter is that mm. the, the, the folks who wrote this book realize okay, maybe we don't have the writing chops. That's not their profession. It's not what they do. So they joined up with a writer to help them. And they took the advice of a professional. Yeah. And that advice comes in many forms. Sometimes it's in a rejection letter. Yeah. You know, the when David was talking about stupid perseverance, that's often 
what we see when people don't take any advice. I sent my query out to 1,000 agents, the same query, and all of them rejected it. I guess I'll send it out to another 1,000. Yeah. No. So we want to encourage you to take the rejection in stride and to use it to get to the next step. We don't know when the publishing is actually going to happen or by whom. It may end up being yourself. It may end up being a big five publisher. You may get an auction. You may get an auction. We don't know. But what we do know is you have to find a way to overcome the rejection to take the next steps. And we encourage you to do that. Persevere. Persevere, people. Rock on.